Hey guys, in the last two tutorials, we created the register layout file and the log login layout file. And we also created the PHP files, register.php and fetch userdata.php. So I created the application and I wanted to show you how the application will look like and how it will work. So in the last tutorial, we also created the um, table on 000webhost.com. So this is the application. When I click on register here, it will open register.xml file that is a register activity. So I'm going to insert some demo values here. So I'm going to name it ABCD and ABCD at gmail. dot com username is abcd password is abcd and confirm password is abcd so if you write the wrong password here then it will show error password don't match enter again and if i click on register it will show this processing progress dialog and after that it will insert the data into the database and open the login activity that is the main activity so if i click on browse here in, on php my admin so this data will get inserted here abcd abcd at gmail.com these are the two values i already inserted and id is set to auto increment that's why after four it is taking five there was uh, there were two more um, values two and three but i deleted them that's why it is one five four so as you can see the data is being uh, uploaded on the server and after that i'm going to type here the username and password abcd and abcd and i'm going to click on the login button again it will show the progress dialog so it will show this it will open this activity which is which we haven't created yet we will create it in this or uh, this tutorial so it is showing all the details name email username and password and there is a logout feature also so if you click on the logout button it will clear the current users temporary data and then it will open the main activity that is the login activity so this is the whole uh, working of our project so first open the php file here we have um, mentioned localhost my user my password and my db now we are going to in insert the correct values here so open 000 webhost login and after that go to the control panel and inside that open mysql inside the software and services and here you will find the mysql database name username and host name so just copy the host name from here and paste it here instead of localhost and if you get this space just remove it and for user copy this and paste it here for password whatever you entered while creating that user enter that password here and for database again copy this and paste it here so i did it in fetch user data dot php so just copy this whole line and paste it here in the register dot php after that i made a small mistake in the php file so here mysqli statement uh, param instead of this it should be mysql statement bind param and do the same changes here in the fetch user data file and after that our php files are ready now we are going to upload them on the server so 
again go to the control panel and here go to another file manager under files category and open it here double click on the public html folder and here you have to upload those two files register.php and fetch userdata.php so i already uploaded them here because i wanted to show you how uh, the working of the project so what you can do is you can click on upload file click on choose file and go to the folder choose the file and click on open so it will get uploaded so you have to select one file at a time there are only two files so it won't take time so after you have uploaded them onto the server you are done with the php part so now open your project we have to create one more activity to display the data so create a layout resource files and file under the layout folder and name it display info now go to the text tab and make it relative layout and all you have to do is just remove this android orientation vertical because relative layout doesn't have orientation so the error will be gone and go to the design tab again now we have to design it like this so one uh, large text contact details four more text uh, large text name email username and four more here which are empty and a logout button so grab one large text here and name it contact details you can uh, design it however you want to name here i'm going to increase the width then email username you have to just repeat the process and password so now go to the first text view here make the text empty and here name it tf name then for the second one text is empty make it tf email and do the same for the rest of the files or uh, rest of the text fields Okay, now we have to get one button for logout button. So just drag one button here and name it logout. And for the ID, make it B log out. And for that button, make the on click value equal to on logout click. So now our display info.xml file is done. Now what we have to do is we have to work on main activity.java. Then we have to create two more Java files for our two activities that is register and display info. So first we'll work on main activity.java file. So just remove this menu methods because we don't need them. After that, we have to create one method called on register click because in the main activity, there is one button for login and there is one text view for register, but it is clickable. So 
that's why on register click it will take view it should be public void on register click and hit alt enter so that view um, class will get imported here and when you click on the register here uh, text view we have to open the register activity that is start the register activity so write intent intent equals again hit alt enter so that intent will get imported here then new intent main activity dot this for the context and for the class it should be register dot class we didn't create it yet we will create it so the error will be gone so don't worry about it now start activity and intent and again we have to create one more method public void on login click it will also take one view object now log in the login activity there are only two edit text uh, text fields so we have to create two edit text here so i'm going to define them i'm going to declare them here edit text um et username and et password et for edit text hit alt enter so that it will get imported and in the on create bundle we will define them so write et username equals edit text find view by id r dot id dot tf username and et password equals edit text find view by id r dot id dot tf password 